How's it going guys? Welcome back to the farm. So we are actually in the middle of a job. In fact, we're just about to finish the job. Um, so we're doing a bit of work for a man named Jimmy. So Jimmy is a friend of Michael, who we did a bit of work for previously. And um, he sort of sent us on to Jimmy here and Jimmy gave us a bit of fertilizing work. So, um, the problem is, we sort of had to buy the fertilizer ourselves. So, we're a bit short on money at the moment. And I'll be honest with you, I was a bit concerned that we weren't going to have enough money to buy all of the fertilizer. So, we've got $700 left um, after buying one bag, 1,000 liters of fertilizer uh, for about $1,800. So, um... Yeah, the good thing is, we will get reimbursed for whatever we leave in the machine. So, that's good. Hopefully, we get some good money for this. And Michael... Oh, sorry, Jimmy. Not Michael. So, uh, let me turn this off. There we go. Um, so, Jimmy said if we do a good job here, he might have another job for us. So, let's hope he likes this. So, that is job done. It was just this little field over here that we had to do and we've got 509 liters of fertilizer left in the tank so we'll get reimbursed for that so that's all good um i need to find my way back out here there's a little road running up here and we'll take this back to the shop actually we're going to leave it at the shop i don't know if it's going for servicing or what the deal is but then we'll give jimmy a call and he'll come out and see how we did and hopefully he gives us another job because that'll be amazing so we are basically just trying to make a bit of money right now so we can buy like a pickup truck or something and um hopefully from there we can do a bit of logging and things like that i mean we'll probably still be doing a lot of contract work for other people just because well we have to um right i'm lost i need to turn in here shop is the other way so yeah, I don't, I don't really know that farm over there. I have a suspicion that Jimmy owns that. I think that's his farm. I haven't been able to figure that out just yet. But I think, I think that's um, Michael's friend. So that borrowed the big John Deere thing. So I don't know. We will probably find out in the future. But I think that's his farm. I was hoping to sort of find out now because... I was supposed to obviously take the machinery back, but I actually picked it up from another spot and I was told to leave it somewhere here. So yeah, I'm sure we'll we'll find out at some point. Hopefully sooner rather than later, because it'd be sort of nice to know who lives where exactly. So um yeah, that is a job done. So if you're interested what we did that in, um that was in a New Holland T6175 and a Brudel. Uh, spreader very nice piece of equipment i think the the spreader looks a bit big compared to that but it worked really really well right so that is that we're gonna leave that there i'm gonna give jimmy a call and hopefully he's happy with what we did hopefully he can go out and check it now um and if he's happy he'll give us another job so that is the plan um hopefully it all works out otherwise i'll have to phone around and see if we can get a job from someone else but anyway, let's let's give him a call and see what happens. All right, so I phoned Jimmy and he actually came and picked me up and we went to have a look at the field together. He was happy with the job that we did. I mean, it's fertilizing. There's not that much that can go wrong, really. Um, but anyway, he was happy and he gave us another job. So we are on our way there. So he dropped me off here. And said to just carry up on here and I'll see some equipment up the road. I think I can see it up there. So we're actually going to be doing a decent sized job for him here. He's got a grass field that we are going to cut and then bale and then wrap. And then we'll deliver the bale somewhere. I don't know where. Um, he said he'll let us know. But oh, oh yes. <laughs> I really, really hope that's it. That's a nice piece of equipment. Goodness me that is beautiful right so we've got a really really nice veltra i love the color on that 
Oh, that looks so good. Right. Um, that we'll use to transport the bales. Uh, we've got our bale wrapper. We've got a really nice baler here. Um, so that is a VB3190. Very nice. We've got our rower. And then we've got two mowers here. So a front and a rear. Very good. Okay. So the field is, I'm thinking this one. He said it's grass. That is beautiful. That is a pretty big field. So anyway, we're going to get all of the equipment hooked up here. And obviously we're going to do most of this in a time lapse for you guys. Um, so that it doesn't take forever. But um, in other news, I got to chat with Jimmy a little bit on the way here. And he's a really, really nice guy. So I'm still not sure if he actually owns that farm down there. But I do think he owns quite a bit of property. Because he said, if we do a good job today, um, because this is quite a big job and it has to be done properly. Um, if we do a good job, then he might have a place for us to stay. So we'll obviously have to pay rent. But that would be really, really, really nice if we could get a place. He didn't say where it is. Um, he didn't say anything about it. Um, we'll probably have to wait and see. But at least there's an option, possibly, if we do a good job today. So I am I'm hopeful for that. Let's get this unfolded. I'm running into the field over there, which is probably not great, but we're okay. Right. So, um, so yeah, that's something to sort of look forward to. Hopefully, that all works out. He also said something about going out on a little trip with him. So, I don't know what exactly that means. He didn't elaborate, but um, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we are blocking cars. Get that going. Get that going. Get that drop down. Is that working? The one is working. Is the second one working? Yes, okay, beautiful. We're in business. Yeah, this is a pretty good working width, actually. That is nice. Right, so, um, yeah, basically he just said that he's going on some sort of a trip. And he said if we do a good job here, we can talk about accommodation. And maybe, just maybe, we can go along on this trip of his. What exactly that entails, I have no idea. But um, we will find out at some point, I'm sure. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find out. Um, but yeah, he's a super, super nice guy. And I think we're going to be working with him quite a bit. And... Yeah. Anyways, so, what is the working w speed on this? We're doing about 15. We can get up to about, what, 17, 18? Um, I'm thinking, oh, this can actually go up to about 20. Let's see, we'll get it on a straight here and see how we do. Hmm. I should actually be doing the other direction. If I'm going to be going in circles, shouldn't I? Right, we'll try and turn around at the top here. Otherwise, we're going to keep on missing things on the end bits. But that's okay. We'll go around and get whatever we missed. But um, for now, we are going to jump into a time lapse. So I'm going to swing this whole setup around and sort of face the other way. At some point, we'll probably have to just start going up and down the field. We might use GPS for that, but... Probably not, to be fair. With a job like this, I like to do it by hand. We do have GPS available to us, but yeah, I probably won't use it. Anyways, that is our first cut around. So we're going to get that all going, but we're going to jump into a time lapse. We're going to get this field knocked out, and then we'll probably start rowing and bailing. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy.
All right, so we're just coming up to the last little bit here, and I'll tell you what, this is a really, really nice combo. These mowers work really well together, and it's actually a very decent working with. That didn't take very long at all. I enjoyed that. That was, that was very good. Right, so that'll get us to there. We'll get that all shut down. Get this lifted. That lifted. Beautiful. Right, so next up is going to be rowing. And we'll get this all unloaded. I have to say, the working speed on that surprised me. You can do about 20, 20 kilometers an hour on that, I think. So, um, not too bad at all. So, I want to fold this in. There we are. Back into transport mode. Beautiful. And then this. We'll just maybe not put there. Um, I was going to put it there, but that's um, probably going to be quite difficult to get it back out. There we are. Right. So, the mower looks of decent size, so this shouldn't take too long at all, either. Hopefully. I think the bailing and the wrapping is probably going to be the longest part of this whole process, but it should be fine. Right. Yeah, that's... Ooh. Fancy. That's really nice. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to start up here. I think we'll probably do a loop again, and then we'll start with rows. So... Oop. Don't want to do that. That's what we want. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. I like that. So, that is top speed there. That's 15 kilometers an hour, but it's not too bad at all. And um, definitely not as quick as the mowing, but obviously a little bit wider. So, it's going to be nice. We'll just try and keep the roads as straight as possible. It'll make our bailing job a little bit easier. But I think, yeah, we'll probably probably go once around the perimeter and then we'll just row in between and uh, make life easy for ourselves so that is the plan um, so we're gonna jump back into a time lapse we're gonna get that done and we'll probably shoot straight into bailing on this time lapse um, we might take a short sort of break in between that and um, we'll have a bit of a chat about the whole wrapping process and all of that, but we shall see how things progress. But anyway, let's jump into that time lapse. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we have just started wrapping and so far I think everything's been going pretty smoothly and um, we missed very few bits of grass when 
we cut, so that's good. I mean, you like to get it all, but um, we we really didn't much, uh, miss much. And the same with bailing. Uh, there's a few spots that I missed, but I also came to the conclusion that picking up all of those little spots was not going to make another bail. So, um, yeah, I decided for the sake of time to just leave it. But um, yeah, so we're into wrapping now, and then after that we will start getting this all delivered. So apparently this is all going to a power plant, if I'm not mistaken. So um, that'll be interesting. Um, I'm not sure where this power plant is. Um, I've just been told to find it. So that'll be good. I do have a map though, so it might be on the map. We shall see. But anyway, so... What we are going to do is we are going to get all of this wrapped. And then we'll get this piece of equipment disconnected. We will get the bale pickups hooked onto the tractor front and back. So I think we'll be able to transport four bales at a time. I'm not sure how many bales we've got here, but it's quite a few. I'll tell you that much. So um, it might take... A while so hopefully wherever this plant is that we have to go to um, isn't too far away otherwise we're gonna have a lot of driving to do but anyway time will tell and I mean this has been very fun I I really do enjoy bailing I always have um, but it has been quite time-consuming so hopefully the pay is gonna be really well and hopefully we did a good enough job um, to impress Jimmy so that we can hopefully do some more work for him in the future but also get some accommodation possibly rent a place off him and um, you never know maybe maybe we get invited to that trip of his but yeah we'll see I'm not putting my heart on it but you never know we shall see early days early early days Anyways, this is going to take a while, so we are going to jump straight back into a time lapse to get this done. So I do apologize, there's a lot of time lapses in today's episode, but sometimes that's just the nature of these things where, um, yeah, it, it just works better. Otherwise, you'll be sitting around watching me do some boring stuff for a long, long time. So I'd rather have you sort of listen to some nice music and um, yeah, sort of enjoy everything and fast forward basically. So we're gonna do that. So I shall see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so we have the last three bales here, and I'll tell you what, that was a struggle. That was 
Yeah, quite frustrating. Anyways, trying to get these bales onto these things is horrid. And also, um, my own stupidity, I was struggling so much trying to get these things back to the biogas plant. Um, I thought it was a power plant, it's a biogas plant. Um, but yeah, they, they kept on falling off and I thought, oh, you know what? I never leave the house without some some ratchet straps. I mean, who does? You never do that. But you know what? The day you need them is the day you forget them. So I don't have them with me today. And um, I couldn't find any in the tractor. And I thought, well, we'll just have to struggle through until I realized transport mode. Put the thing in transport mode. That'll hold them in place. So, genius. Um, right. So uh, that made it much easier to actually get them here um, not much easier getting them onto the thing in the first place that was a bit of a pain but anyway we made it we're here now and um, apparently this is where they want it so we're gonna fold that up we're gonna get the last two dropped off and get that back in there very good. And that's it. Beautiful. Get that lifted and folded. So, um, Jimmy said to just leave the equipment where we found it, which is fine. We shall do that. And there we are. All good. So, um, yeah, we're just going to take this up there. Leave it as is. We'll have to try and find a lift back into town. Um, I, I, maybe, maybe Jimmy will come up and, um, have a look at the field and see if he is happy with the job that we did. And that'll be, that'll be good if he likes it, because that could be very beneficial for us, um, in the long run, I think. So let's, let's hope. Fingers crossed. All right. We're going to sneak through here. Beautiful. This is a really, really nice tractor. Like a really nice tractor. Absolutely love it. And um, yes, for those wondering, I did have a bale that sort of ran down into the field there. It got caught by a fence though, but I managed to get it out eventually. But yeah, that's the field that we did. And it's looking really, really nice actually at the moment. Um, That was a fun job. That was a very fun job. So um, we're going to give Jimmy a call here. And firstly, we're going to find out how much we got paid for this job, because I don't know yet. And then secondly, we'll find out about um, him coming up to see the field, and then hopefully we can have a chat to him about the accommodation and all of that. So um, yeah, I'm going to a, give him a ring, and um, we'll see what he says. Alright, so I spoke to Jimmy, and the good news is we're sitting on $16,887, so we got paid very, very well for that job, so I'm really happy. It also means that I think we've got enough money to start looking into either a pickup truck or a tractor, so we'll do that real soon. The bad news is, the guy from the biogas plant phoned Jimmy, and he wasn't very happy because apparently we put all of the bales in the wrong spot. So that doesn't bode well for us, so my bad. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, Jimmy's on his way here, so I'm going to meet him here. We're going to go up to the field. He's going to have a look at that. Hopefully he's impressed with the work that we did there and sort of forgets about the screw-up that I had at the biogas plant. Um, but yeah, so if he likes what we did, we might get a house out of the deal. I mean, we'll have to pay rent on the place, obviously, but that would be nice. That'll solve one sort of headache. Um, and maybe we get invited onto this trip of his. Still don't know what it is, but um, I'm sure it'll be fun. But we're only going to find out what Jimmy says in the next episode. We're going to leave it there for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.